Welcome back to my Houston Texans franchise rebuild here on Madden 22. Today we travel to Jacksonville to start season three. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the Jaguars depth chart. First, quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Running back James Robinson is now a 92. Fullback we don't really care about. Wide receiver Devontae Adams is a 97. LaVisca Chenault is an 81. And Von Bozeman, who won Rookie of the Year last year, is an 80. Tight end John Bass is a 75. Left tackles a 79. Left guard is an 84. Center is an 83. Right guard is a 70. And right tackle is a 77. On the defensive side of the ball, left end is an 80. Right end is a 79, Anthony Richardson. Defensive tackle is Matt Knox and Jameel Gooden, or Goodwin. They are both auto-generated players. Left outside linebacker is Kalevon... I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. But 76 overall. Middle linebacker is Miles Jacks. Right outside linebacker is Josh Allen. Defensive back is Shaquille Griffin and Darius Slay. That is an... Inter and Mike Hughes, that is an interesting secondary. Free safety is Andrew Wingard, and strong safety is Jimmy Ward. And due to an injury sustained at practice this week, we will not see wide receiver Brian Tyson in week one. That may affect our offense a bit. All right, we are on defense to start this season. Let's see how we handle Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville offense. On first and 10, he gives it to the running back, and he will get about five yards there. And Demarcus Lawrence is injured on our first play of the season. I apparently just need to stop signing free agents because everything just goes horribly. Now second and six, Lawrence and Shotgun will give it right back to Robinson. And this time he is met immediately by 94, which I believe is Davon Hamilton, one of the guys we brought in in the offseason. That would lead to third and six now for Jacksonville. Lawrence and Shotgun. He takes the snap. Drops back, goes downfield, and that will be caught by his wide receiver. I believe that is Devontae Adams, Pat Brigance on the coverage, and a 12-yard gain. We did spend our fifth overall pick on a corner, so hopefully we see him at some point today. First and 10, handoff up the middle. He's breaking a couple tackles and gets a gain of about nine. That leads to second and one. Lawrence and shotgun with both running backs in the backfield. He takes the snap and it's a play action. Under pressure and sacked on the play by Desmond King. We blitzed a corner and it paid off. Now third and seven for Jacksonville. Lawrence comes back out in shotgun from the 44. He takes the snap. Looking to get pressure, and there is some, and he throws it underneath, and that is intercepted on the play by number 56, and he's brought down. That should be Jordan Brooks, our brand new outside linebacker we just signed this offseason. All right, the offense does not have its star wide receiver, Brian Tyson, so DJ Chargers are number one today, and on first and 10, let's see how Spitzer handles it. And he's going downfield. That is going to be caught by Floyd Bryan and a gain of maybe six on the play. Second and four, Spitzer going under center. He's going to send Brevin Jordan in motion. We have all three tight ends in on this play. And it will be a handoff to Miles Sanders up the middle. Sanders has the first down and a lot more, and finally brought down at the 27-yard line after a gain of 11. First and 10 for Houston from the 27-yard line. Spitzer and Shotgun will take the snap. Spitzer maybe looking to go deep downfield, throws to the outside, and that is caught by Robert Tunyon and brought down. Second and six, Spitzer going under center. He takes the snap, under pressure, goes downfield, a wide open Robert Tunyon, and down at the six-yard line. They blitzed, and Spitzer made them pay for it. That leads to first and goal, and he's going under center. Takes the snap, hands off up the middle to Sabah J.P. Ryan, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Take an early 7-0 lead. Let's see how the defense does on this drive. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. Lawrence in shotgun. Robinson in the backfield with him. That's where he goes, and Robinson up the middle will get nothing on the play. Bet by 52, you got which you is Jonathan Greener. Second and 11, comes back out in shotgun. He takes a snap, and this time it's a handoff to Etienne, and he goes to the outside, and he will get nothing on that play, maybe a gain of two yards. That leads to third and nine for Lawrence in the offense. Etienne still in the backfield. He will take the snap. Sands in the pocket, and he is finally going to roll out and maybe just take off, and Trevor Lawrence will not get the first down, met by Justin Reed and Desmond King and brought down shy of it. Second and 10, Spitzer comes out at the 17 yard line under center. He sends Floyd Bryan in motion. He takes the snap and goes over the middle. That is caught by Bryan and he has the first down. Gain of 10. Second and eight in shotgun. From the 29 yard line, Spitzer takes the snap and gives it right back to Miles Sanders who's cutting up field and gets the first down before getting brought down. First and 10, Spitzer in shotgun from the 39 yard line. He sends, I believe that is Reggie Simon in motion. Takes the snap, goes downfield, and that is a wide open man, and that is a first down for number 82, which is Rashard Higgins. I actually had to look at the list. He's one of the guys that we just brought in. 
But now on first and 10, Spitzer going back under center, takes the snap. And there's a blitz, and he goes downfield, and that is caught by DJ Truck down the sideline. Inside the 20, 15, 10, and forced out of bounds near the five-yard line. Third and goal from the three. Spitzer in shotgun, takes the snap. Sands in the pocket, goes to the end zone, and caught. Touchdown, Floyd Bryan. And we take a 14 to nothing lead over Jacksonville. Let's see if the defense can keep this shutout on this drive. First and 10, 2.32 to go in the first. He sends a man in motion, and it's a play action. Lawrence maybe looking to go downfield, and he will, and that is a wide open man. That is LaVisca Chenault down at the 44. On the next play out of shotgun, Lawrence will take the snap again, and he's under pressure from Malik Morgan, hit as he throws and misses his wide open man. That was Chenault again. Third and 10, Lawrence in shotgun here. He takes the snap, stands in the pocket, and he finally finds his man. It's his running back, and he will fight and break a tackle, but not get the first down. Justin Reed gets him just shy of the marker. That would lead to third and six for Spitzer and the offense, trying to keep the drive alive. Under a minute to go in the first, Spitzer stands in the pocket, goes downfield, and that is caught, but I don't know if he has the first down. They rule him shy, so it'll be fourth and one. All right, after the punt, let's see how Jacksonville does simulation-wise. On first and 10, five-yard rush from Robinson, second and five, sacked by Trevor, or Trevor Lawrence, sacked by Fletcher Cox. I about said Trevor Lawrence sacked himself, but Fletcher Cox gets a four-yard sack, leading to third and nine, and he hits Von Bozeman for 14. So a new set of downs, and he throws it away on first and 10. Second and 10, he gets dropped by LaVisca Chenault. And on third and 10, he throws it away, so they will punt the ball right back to Houston. That leads to second and 10. Spitzer and shotgun. He has yet to throw an incomplete pass and will not throw one here. Floyd Bryan gets the catch for a gain of a few. Now third and four, trying to avoid a three and out. Spitzer takes the snap. He's under pressure, needs to get rid of it, throws it downfield, and that will be caught by Robert Tunyon in Jacksonville territory. That leads to second and five. Spitzer in shotgun from the 36-yard line. He takes the snap, looks to go downfield, under pressure, and will break away from one second. I think he may have gained a couple yards there. No, they rule that he lost a couple. But at least he finally learned to step up in the pocket and not just run backwards and take the sack. But now third and six, Spitzer in shotgun will take the snap. And he goes downfield, and that's a first down for Houston. DJ Chark on the catch down at the 22-yard line. So third and inches, Spitzer going under center. Miles Sanders back in the backfield, and that's where they go with it. It's a play action, actually. And then he goes to the outside, caught by Sanders, and another first down for Houston. Spitzer is 13 of 13 today. First and goal, Spitzer going under center. Sanders in the backfield, he will send Lamar Boswell in motion. And he will line him up in the backfield to give him an extra blocker. And Sanders to the outside will be tackled inside the five yard line, down at the three. So that leads to second and goal, Spitzer going under center. Samaj P. Ryan in the backfield. And they will give it to P. Ryan. P. Ryan to the outside, walks in for his second touchdown today. 21-0 Houston. Second and six, Lawrence and shotgun from the 29-yard line. He will take the snap. Stand in the pocket and go to the outside. That is caught and down the sideline. I believe that's his tight end into Houston territory and finally brought down by Pat Brigance. Second and five from pistol formation on the 41-yard line. Lawrence will take the snap, stand in the pocket again. He is under pressure and he will be sacked on the play by Demarcus Lawrence, who I guess is no longer injured and gets his first sack as a Houston Texan. That leads to third and 17. Lawrence in shotgun will take the snap. And he goes downfield. That man is wide open, but nowhere near the marker and brought down immediately by Grant Delpit. That will be another fourth down. All right, starting at the 20-yard line, Joe Spitzer has three minutes to go here in the half. Let's see what he can do with it. On the first play, goes to the outside, and that is caught and down immediately is Floyd Bryan. So now a new set of downs from the 31-yard line. Spitzer in shotgun again. I believe that Sanders still in the backfield. And Spitzer looks to go downfield, and that is caught by Sanders and brought down after a gain of about eight. Second and two, nearing the two-minute warning here. He's going under center, hand off to Sanders, and Sanders will get the first down, I believe. Are they going to give that to him? That leads to first and ten. Two minutes to go, 41-yard line. Spitzer takes the snap, and it's a screen pass, and that's his first incomplete pass of the day. So obviously that leads to second and ten, and Spitzer will come back out in shotgun. A minute 57 to go in the half now. And Spitzer goes downfield. That is caught by Tunyon. And Tunyon fighting his way across the 50-yard line and brought down, leading to a third and inches. A minute 30 to go in the half. Third down. 
Spitzer takes the snap. He stands in the pocket, goes downfield, and that will be almost picked off. There was not a receiver there. Now Jacksonville has a minute and 18 seconds to at least get into field goal range and not be shut out in the first half. Let's see what they do. Lawrence, downfield, wide open Etienne, and he gets out of bounds, gain of nine. Second and one, out of pistol. Lawrence takes the snap. And he goes the outside. That is a wide open Devontae Adams. There was no one within 10 yards of him. First and 10. Lawrence and Shotgun, a minute 01 to go in the half from their own 41 yard line. Lawrence goes deep downfield and that will be caught and still not down as LaVisca Chenault. I thought it was gonna get knocked out by Desmond King, but Chenault held on through the contact. Second and four from the 31 with 47 seconds to go in the half. Lawrence and Shotgun, no one else in the backfield with him. And he goes downfield and that will be intercepted on the play and now running away with it is I believe our rookie corner, and on his first interception, he is gonna run this thing back. Touchdown, Houston. That is Shelton Peterson, our fifth overall pick with a pick six in his first game. I tried to simulate the rest of the half, and Travis Etienne runs a 75-yard touchdown, so we don't get to keep the shutout, but we still scored 28 points before they got one touchdown right at the end of the half. Our offense comes out to start the second half up 28 to seven. They have been pretty good today. And now Spitzer takes the snap in the pocket. We'll just chuck this one deep downfield, and that will be caught and ripped out of the hands of DJ Chark, but there is a flag. Roughing the passer, so we get a first down anyway. That would lead to a third and seven. Spitzer in shotgun, Sanders in the backfield. He takes the snap. Spitzer maybe looking to go downfield, and that will be caught by his running back and forced out of bounds at the 47 leading to fourth and three. The Jags offense is gonna need to pick up the pace here a little bit. They did score right there at the end of the half with a run by Etienne. But now on first and 10, he is gonna be sacked again by Desmond King. That's the second time a corner blitz has gotten home. Third and 11, Lawrence in shotgun with nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. He takes the snap. Looking to go deep downfield and that will be knocked out. No, caught by Chenault. Was he in bounds? No, he was not. That would lead to a fourth and 11. That one was actually kind of close. Spitzer comes out at the 32 yard line here on first and 10 to start this drive. And it's a quick throw out to the outside and caught by Reggie Simon for a gain of maybe eight. Okay, it was again a seven, not eight, but that leads to second and three. And now Spitzer's going under center with Sanders in the backfield. Sends Brevin Jordan in motion. And I imagine this ball is now going to Miles Sanders. Sanders to the outside will not get the first down. He at least got a couple yards leading to third and one. And now Spitzer in shotgun, takes the snap, hands off to Sanders. Sanders has good blocking and the first down this time, brought down in Jacksonville territory and a decent gain on that play. Second and five, and Spitzer's going under center. This ball is probably going right to Miles Sanders. No, it's a play action. And Spitzer going downfield and that will be caught and out of the hands of, I believe, Lamar Boswell, leading to a third and five situation for the Texans. From the 44 yard line, Spitzer drops back. And Spitzer may look just look to take off here. And he's going to need to get rid of it or make a decision. Spitzer has the first down and slides down to the 32. Gain of 12. I am really glad he finally learned how to escape pressure. Now first and 10 from the 32-yard line. Spitzer in shotgun. Sanders in the backfield. It's another quick throw and almost picked off. That would have been a pick six for I think that was Darius Slay. Because I think he's wearing 15 on this team. Now second and 10. Spitzer out of shotgun, takes the snap and goes to the outside. That is caught by DJ Truck and brought down to the 28 yard line. Third and six, Spitzer in shotgun. To keep the drive alive or at least attempt a field goal, goes downfield, that is caught. And down the sideline is Rashard Higgins and into the end zone, touchdown Houston. And we go up 35 to seven. All right, let's see how the Jacksonville offense does through simulation again on first and 10. Six yard rush from Robinson, second and four, eight yard rush from Robinson. First and 10, eight yards from Robinson. Second and two, eight yards from Etienne. First and 10, an eight yard pass to Von Bozeman. Second and two, an eight yard rush from Robinson. First and 10, an eight yard rush from Robinson. And on second and two, a six yard rush from Robinson. So now they are inside the 20. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter and we jump into this drive at the 16 yard line. Trying to see if our defense will keep them out of the end zone. Hand off to, I believe that's Robinson and he is tackled by Raymond Kyle. Our second first round pick this year. Third and seven, Lawrence in shotgun from the 13 yard line. A minute and a half to go in the third. And he's gonna be under pressure, go downfield and that is caught and brought down as Devontae Adams at the one yard line. First and goal, Lawrence in shotgun. 
He takes the snap, and it's a handoff to Etienne, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. They make it 35-14. to All right, we're going to see how the Houston offense does through simulations. Not off to a great start. Miles Sanders' loss of three. So on second and 13, a 13-yard gain to Tunyon, and that would set up a first and 10, and now we are in the fourth quarter. So on first and 10, it's a seven-yard rush from Sanders. Second and three, a four-yard rush from Samaje, leading to a new set of downs. And on first and 10, it's a two-yard rush from Sanders. Second and eight, a seven-yard rush from Sanders. Third and one, four yards from Sanders. First and 10, three yards. Second and seven, two from Samaje. And then on third and four, a 15-yard penalty against the defense to keep the drive alive. So then on first and 10, a five-yard rush from Sanders. Second and five, he throws it away. And on third and five, it's a 10-yard penalty against the offense. So that would lead to apparently a field goal try, and Justin Tucker drills it to make it 38 to 14. Jacksonville comes out, and Lawrence throws it away on first down. Second and 10, four-yard pass to LaVisca Chenault. And on third and six, a four-yard pass to Bozeman. So on fourth and one, they actually go for it and get the first down on a rush from Maxwell. First and 10, he throws it away. Second and 10, it's a 26-yard play to Devontae Adams. So on first and 10 again, it is a seven yard rush from Robinson. Second and three, nine yards to Devante. First and 10, sacked by Jonathan Greener for a loss of five. Second and 15, he hits LaVisca Chenault for 14. So that leads to third and one, and he hits John Bass for an eight yard gain. And on first and goal, he hits LaVisca Chenault in the end zone, touchdown Jacksonville. Then they would actually go for two and get it. So it is 38 to 22. On first and 10, we give it to Cameron Glass for one. Second and nine, he finds Floyd Bryan for nine yards. First and 10, it's a negative three yard rush from Sanders. Second and 13, a six yard rush from Sanders. Third and seven, he throws it away. So we will have to punt it away after the two minute warning. It's now first and 10 and he throws it away. Second and 10, sacked by Demarcus Lawrence for a loss of four. And on third and 14, he throws it away. So fourth and 14, he hits Devontae Adams for 28 yards. I don't think they have enough time to make a comeback here though. First and 10 throws it away. Second and 10 hits Tyler Peoples for eight. And on third and two, he hits John Bass for 17. 35 seconds to go in the game. He throws it away. Second and 10, Bass for 15. First and 10, LaVisca Chenault for 10. And then from the five yard line, they will get one more touchdown and make this game look a lot closer than I believe it actually was. And they get another two point conversion. But we will watch the onside kick to see if Jacksonville can pull off a miracle. 13 seconds to go. And Houston will recover the onside kick, so we should be able to get out of here with a win. Final score, 38-30. to The offense looked tremendous most of the entire day. Our rookie corner that we took fifth overall got a pick six. I'd say today was a success. It was 38-30 to as a final, but I feel like that was nowhere near as close as the actual game was. At halftime, it was 28-7. to And we came out and scored right after halftime, I believe. So it became 35-7. to And then they slowly started making a comeback, but... Like I said at the end there, I don't think they really had a chance to come back. Let's take a look at the final stats from today. Joe Spitzer goes 24 of 33, 263 yards and two touchdowns. He had a fantastic day, and I said in the preseason, he is going to need to prove a lot this year. This is probably his make or break year on if I'm going to start scouting a quarterback probably next season. So he has this year and next year to really prove to me that he can be the guy, but this is a step in the right direction. Rushing-wise, Miles Sanders goes 24 for 84, and Samaj P. Ryan goes 4 for 15 and 2 touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Floyd Bryant stepped up in place of Brian Tyson, caught 8 passes for 56 yards and a touchdown. Robert Tunyon, 7 for 81, Chark, 3 for 63, and then Rashard Higgins catches 2 for 41 and a score in his Texans debut. I don't normally show the defensive stats, but Demarcus Lawrence had 2 sacks along with Desmond King. And Jonathan Greenard got one, and Grant Delpit and Fletcher Cox each get credit for half of one. And interceptions wise, Shelton Peterson got one, and Jordan Brooks got one, our two newest additions to the defense. Trevor Lawrence goes 27 of 42, 317 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. He started off really, really bad. He threw two touchdowns. I don't want to say in garbage time because there still was a small chance they could have won that game. But yeah, he didn't throw a touchdown until I believe the fourth quarter. Rushing wise, James Robinson, 14 for 75. Travis Etienne, 5 for 86. Most of that on, I believe, one carry. Yeah, the 75-yard run that got simulated. And then receiving-wise, LaVisca Chenault, 8 for 87 and two scores. Devontae Adams, 7 for 104. And John Bass, 4 for 64. We do have a few upgrades here. Uh, first one is Bob Holiday. We're just going to upgrade his pass protector, get him to a 76 overall. 
and let's see what he gets. Plus one to awareness, plus one to pass block power. Kendall Bibbs also has an upgrade. We're gonna upgrade his slot. May not make him a scheme fit. Okay, he keeps the scheme fit and he gets plus one to acceleration, plus one to awareness, and plus three to man coverage, which is huge because that puts his man coverage up to a 72 now. They Both his coverage ratings were both in the 60s, which was not exactly great. And then Shelton Peterson also has an upgrade and we're just gonna upgrade his man to man. Let's see what he gets. Gets two attributes, plus three to man, plus one to play rec, which also is pretty big. He now has 80 man coverage. And what's his play rec at now? Is that even on here? Or am I just completely and totally blind? Oh, right there, 73. In the next video, we will be watching the game against Philadelphia because they have a quarterback from the same draft class as Joe Spitzer. I believe Spitzer went second overall. The guy starting for the Eagles, Kenny Cohen, I believe, went sixth overall. So we'll be watching that one. We played them a couple years ago. I want to see how our team stacks up against them now. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time.